This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and this is the first of a two-part episode on making and decorating rolled sugar cookies. Because it's summertime here, what we're going to do in this first episode is we're going to make this great rolled sugar cookie, and I've cut them out into little feet. And then our next episode, I'll show you how to make some great icing, and we'll decorate them to make these great flip-flop cookies. We're going to start by making our cookie batter and we're going to start by getting our dry ingredients together. So I have my uh, big canister of flour. I'm going to lighten it up, which means I'm stirring some air in it so that the uh, flour is a little less compact. And I'm going to dip and level off three cups of flour and I'm going to put that into a small bowl. And to that I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then with my little whisk, I'm going to whisk everything together. It's important that we try to get that leavening, the baking powder and the baking soda, mixed all through the flour. Then I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to get a cup of butter out of the refrigerator. And I want to cut this butter into some smaller pieces, so I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise twice, like this, and then I'm going to rotate it and run my knife through it to make some small pieces like this. Then I'm going to take all my butter and I'm going to put that into the bowl of my mixer. And then to that I'm going to add one cup of sugar. And now this next part is where we decide to flavor our cookie dough. Now there's really a few choices that you have. Today I'm going to be flavoring this cookie dough with some lemon zest. I could also use some orange zest or I could just use vanilla, which I put a little vanilla extract in all of the variations. But I'm going to make the lemon today, so I'm going to use my microplaner, and I'm going to get about one teaspoon of lemon zest. Now, orange is also really good, so if you have some oranges laying around, you could certainly use that. But the microplaner is the best way to get a nice, small zest off the fruit. And then I'm going to measure out one teaspoon of that zest and put that in with my butter and sugar. Then I'm going to get this creaming on a medium speed for about one to two minutes. I want to see the mixture start to get light and fluffy. Now I'm going to take my uh, spatula and I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. The butter tends to want to uh, cling to the sides there and I want to get it more into the center. Then I'm going to add two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to let that mix until all that egg is mixed into the butter and sugar. Now I'm going to take my dry ingredients and I'm going to pour that all into my mixing bowl. And then I'm going to start this on a low speed. And I'm going to let that go just until everything gets mixed in. We don't want to overbeat the batter, so do keep an eye on it. And after just about 30 seconds, you're going to see that it's all coming together. And then we stop it. And then we're going to take our spatula and scrape the bowl down. And just turn it on for another maybe 10 seconds. And that's it. Now before we roll these cookies out, we do have to firm the dough up a little bit by putting in the refrigerator. So what I've done is I have two pieces of plastic wrap and I'm going to take the cookie dough and I'm going to divide it roughly in half and I'm going to put half on one piece of plastic and half on the other piece of plastic. I'm going to take and sort of wrap that plastic around the dough. I'm going to kind of flatten it out just a little bit, kind of like I would do with a pastry dough, kind of make it into a little circle. I'm going to do that with both halves. 
Now, you'll want to put your two discs of dough in the refrigerator for at least an hour, um, but you can actually make this dough up to two days ahead of time, so that's kind of nice. Um, so I'm just going to put these in the refrigerator for about an hour, and then I'm going to roll them out. So at this point, it's time to roll out our cookie dough. The dough has been um, in the fridge. It's nice and chilled and really firm, so perfect for rolling out. Now at this point, I've uh, preheated my oven to 375 degrees, so it's hot and ready to go. And then I have my baking sheet with a piece of parchment. I'm going to set that right to the side of the board. And now we're going to start cutting out our cookies. I have a nice big board to roll my dough out on. I've got my flour. I'm going to sprinkle some out and unwrap my dough. Now I've got my rolling pin. I'm going to sprinkle just a little flour both on top of the dough and also on my pin. And I'm going to start rolling this out. Now once I get it rolled out a little bit, I like to pick it up and kind of move a little bit of that flour around. That way I'm ensuring that that dough is not going to stick on the bottom. And I've got this rolled out to about an eighth of an inch thick. And now I'm going to take my little foot cookie cutter and I'm going to go right to the edges. And because I'm doing feet, I want one left foot and one right foot. So as I get the cookie like this, I'm going to transfer it right over to my cookie sheet. Just press it out just like that. And then I'm going to flip it over because I want to have a left foot as well. And then I'll place that on my sheet. Now it's important when you're cutting out cookies, you want to get as many cookies out from this first roll as you can. Find these little areas and really tuck the cutter in as much as you can. Now on this first roll with this size cutter, I was able to get nine cookies out. I was actually able to sneak a tenth one in, but it's not going to fit on my sheet. So I'm just going to set that to the side here on my board and I'll cook that in my next batch. Now these are going to go into the oven. I'm going to put the timer on first for about six minutes just to keep an eye on them. But once they're nice and golden brown, we'll take them out. Now while those cookies are baking, I'm just going to grab my scraps, pull them together, dust my board with a little bit more flour, and continue rolling out and cutting out more feet. Now I've gotten almost a second tray done, and then I just have these little teeny scraps, which I'm going to set to the side, and uh, then get my other disc of dough out of the refrigerator and uh, roll that out as well. Now these have been in for about six minutes. I'd like just a little bit of color um, on the edges, so I'm going to put them in for about another two minutes. Now you can see I'm starting to get just a little bit of color here on the edges. That's exactly what I want, but I want them to stop cooking at this point, so I'm going to slide the parchment right off onto the cooling rack. Now all of our cookies are baked, they look fantastic, but they do have to cool thoroughly before we can decorate them, and that's going to be in our next episode. But if you'd like to go ahead and get the recipe for the cookies, just go to our website and go to the cookie jar show notes, and I'll have it there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.